fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. And create this amazing scene from the trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine. This is an amazing trailer. I was watching this trailer and then I noticed something. Uh, look at this. I thought, why should you not credit in Unreal Engine 5? Because the new version of Unreal Engine 5.4 is just crazy. It has a lot of features and new features, and that's just amazing. And we can create some realistic maps and worlds in Unreal Engine. And then I tried to create it. So the first thing I did was to make a blank project. And you know, it's pretty simple in Unreal Engine, you can just uh, create a blank project and then you can create a new map like this. And then I went to add some lighting, like you can see right here. And then I imported some things from the marketplace as well, so that I can create them better. And then I just sculpted some map, you can see right here, this is the process of sculpting the things. Uh, so yeah, creating some mountains now you can see right here I added the Wolverine character the first one because I need a reference in Unreal Engine so that I can create a realistic map and You should have a human reference or the reference of your character that you can understand The height or the size of all these things around you and then I added these textures and things from the Quixel Bridge because uh, uh, there is some realistic things uh, we can find there and then we can add it so we need some white background some mm, textures some white textures for the ground as well so I, I just imported in by one click you can see you can just click the Quixel Bridge inside the Unreal Engine and then you can download anything you want from the Quixel Bridge and then just by pressing one click that's it you can import it to Unreal Engine and use it. I have this material. This is a uh, uh, landscape material, and then I just did my own textures to this landscape material, and then applied this landscape material to the landscape. And now you can see we have this beautiful, realistic landscape as we saw in the trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, now let's uh, add some uh, uh, foliage you know, like grass and those things uh, like around the ground so that it should look a little realistic as so it should look a little realistic as it was in the trailer so i'm just trying to do that just uh, adding foliage in unreal engine is pretty simple you can just go uh, to the foliage mode and just uh, drag and drop some foliage you have added from another program and then you can just uh, uh, add it to the map. Simple as that. You can see we are making it and it looks realistic and beautiful. Now you can see I'm just trying to adjust some lighting. You can see just white lighting and the sun. You can see these things should be corrected very well. I added post process volume so that also helps for lighting correction and these things. Then we are trying to add some things to the background. You can see right here this may take some little more time like uh, I almost worked on it uh, for eight hours so that's why it's gonna take some time and I'll explain it slowly now you can see I'm uh, I just saw this thing in the trailer so I have no idea what is this thing and how is it looking like this I have no idea about that but I just try to make it something very simple in and real engine you know for modeling uh, most times I use Blender uh, or Maya, any program you like, you can create these things simple. But as uh, simple things like this, you can just create in Unreal Engine. It has some pretty cool options for you, some modeling things. And then I just created this thing and added there. Now you can see I'm adding some clouds and the clouds are just amazing. I added from the marketplace. You can see right here, cloud adjustment and these things. And then it will take a little time. Uh, so you should be patient for it. You should work in it and make it look correct and better. You can see right here, uh, it takes some time. You can make something you want. 
Uh, now you can see there was this thing. I also don't know what is this thing. Uh, but like in trailer we can see this so that's why I tried to create this thing I added some of these objects from marketplace you can make these things pretty simple in uh, blender but today I didn't have that much time to make this thing from scratch in blender so that's why I just imported it from marketplace and now I just work on it uh, right here in Unreal Engine and I'm trying to make something which looks similar to the thing in the trailer you can see right there and now uh, this will take a little time as well, so I created this thing. And finally, this is the result we see right here. And there's one more thing, you can see that room or something, like something, I have no idea, those walls and things are there, like they're destroyed a little bit, like you, we have an idea that some fight or war happened here, so that thing I noticed, and I try, I'm trying to make this thing, so I went to Quixel Bridge and to import some of these walls and things from Quixel Bridge, because these are, there are some good options we have some good objects and then i imported them just by one click as you can see from pixel bridge we can just import it by one click and then i try to make something like that something similar and this looks just amazing these walls so I, I just do, don't want to focus on these things or spend more time on this because this is something in the background just to look something like that room similar they want to make something like that and now you can see that's it we have created that one as well. Now it's time for some rocks in the background. And you can see I just added some of these rocks uh, uh, from the Quixel bridge. And then using foliage, I just adjusted these rocks in the ground around the, that room, around the Wolverine and all those things. And to make it better, to make something realistic, there should be lots of things in the background as well. So I just try to import some uh, objects from the pixel bridge because there we have a lot of free thousands of free objects i just imported them and then i used them in the background so it should look a little better a little good so i'm just trying to adjust these things in the background to look a bit better some of these things are even not there in the trailer but i just want to add it to make it even better <laughs> if i can and now you can see i added this deadpool character and it looks amazing uh, just these textures and things. I just did these things and now you can see. So now you can see this should be face to face because it is a face to face fight. Now we need some poses so they should look a little good in a good ship. Mm, we don't like this pose, the default pose. So I just try to make some new poses and inside Unreal Engine it's pretty simple. You can just make a poses like this and save it as a new pose. And I just did this for both Deadpool and Wolverine and there we go we have the wolverine and we have the deadpool right there and yep they're looking just amazing and now it's time for a camera i added this camera you can see right here and then we need this camera rig rail i just added this so that we can have a smooth movement of the camera and we can adjust this camera uh, we can attach it to this uh, rig rail and there we go i just made this rig rail like this because we want a shot a camera shot like that and there we go i just attached it and then i created this new sequence and then i added this camera and rig rail into that and this is the shot let's make it and make it perfect so the, this camera needs a track. Uh, we have this camera track and I added this camera track in the middle of these two characters because I just want this camera to be looking at the middle of uh, uh, Wolverine and Deadpool. And that we will have both these characters all the time in the camera. And mm, I just move this tracking actor a little bit so that camera look a little up and down as well. That's just amazing. Like now we don't need to rotate camera. We just need to move the tracking actor like this. So now it's time for render. And Unreal Engine is the best in rendering animations. So before that, I just want to activate this one plugin. You can see right here. This plugin is really important and helps us a lot to render. Uh, a movie or animation or something from Unreal Engine and that said I added it and this is the some basic settings for uh, the this animation and let's render it you have to wait a little bit and then you will have it as PNG files 
Now let's make the second shot and in the second shot I just want another pose for the Deadpool, another pose for Wolverine and then I just want to adjust this in the map. This is the uh, Wolverine, this is uh, this is how Deadpool looks like in the first trailer, the teaser trailer I mean. So now you can see it's like that and then I just need Wolverine as well. I added the Wolverine and there we go. I just want to just camera right here and there we have the shadows. There we have the Deadpool and the Wolverine is coming because this uh, we don't have a good animation for the Wolverine and that's why it looks very smooth but in walking it should not be like that that's why I just added some simple animation to rotation animation to the character of Wolverine so in shadows it should look a little realistic and now it's time for the final shot I just want to take the final shot from this angle because the big background clouds and the background elements looks pretty amazing uh, so that's why I just position the my Wolverine right here with the default, not default, was the second pose I created. Uh, and then we have it. You can see this is the Wolverine. And now this is the, the last shot. So after creating this, you can render the last shot as well. And then you will have what you want. It's just amazing. Looks pretty good because it's an real engine, realistic, fast, and unbelievable. So. Uh, then you can go to Premiere or another video editing program you like you can just add it to that and then you can uh, uh, like make it a little correct and then you can just add a little color correction as well and this would be the final result you see right here So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and this was Unreal Engine, this was the Deadpool and Wolverine scene I created. Uh, so this is not that cool, uh, I'm planning to make some realistic, some animations as well in the future. Uh, just write in the comment what you want, like you want Thor and Hawk fight scene, you want Captain America and the Winter Soldier fight scene or maybe Iron Man and Thanos fight scene, whatever you want, or maybe you're a DC fan and you want the fight between Superman and Batman. Anything you want, just write in the comment, so I'll create it uh, in the future. This is my first video of this movie since I want to create an Unreal Engine, in the future I am planning for more. But I'm not sure people will watch it or not. If this video has good views and good likes and good comments uh, in future, I'll make more and better. And I'll make some lectures as well that you can create it as well. So I hope see you soon in the next one. Peace.